analysis in poultry production is a process to organize, describe, evaluate, and interpret the data provided. This includes the process of evaluating data by using analytical and logical reasoning. Today, I am going to talk about some key points on how we can use and manage our data to assist us in improving our flock's performance. We all know that data is important, and we are living in a world surrounded by data. I think in, in our industry, a lot of companies are doing data collection, but are we actually using it? In poultry production, good data allows us to track the growth and development, production performance and health status of our flocks. Analyzing the data can help us better visualize the overall situation of the flock, and all the effective information we can get will really help our team to quickly identify the problem, find the cause, and make the right decision in a more efficient way. This is a data flowchart that can give you a better understanding of how data can help you in many ways. The first and the most important step is the recording and collection of data. I really want to put a lot of emphasis here because whatever you collect at this point will greatly affect the analysis or results you get later. So make sure your raw data collection is of good quality, complete, and accurate. And then we should have a center where you put all the data that you collect and then process it and calculate it. Next step is to use the data for extensive visualization or analysis to help you get the information you need. You can establish performance trends on breeder or boilers, use COP standard as a benchmark, and even predict for future flocks based on the trends you discover. After this, do a ranking and find out what is happening with good and bad flocks, and let the data tell you the difference behind those flocks, and ultimately, make adjustments on your programs to improve your performance. Here is an example of data visualization for breeder. There are key performance indicators that need to be analyzed. We can analyze feed, body weight, uniformity in rearing, mortality, total eggs, hatching eggs, hatchability, and chick spring house in production. It is very important to develop trends on a year-to-year -year basis to be able to track performance. Comparing your top and bottom flocks can provide insight to identify the best practices from the top flocks and the reason why the bottom flocks are underperforming. Looking for pattern from current flock information and sort flock information should be an ongoing process. For example, every six months, to keep on track of the rearing and production programs which have achieved the best results. On the broiler side, the two most common KPIs usually analyzed are FCR and ADG. Understanding the correlation between FCR and ADG is very important. The FCR and ADG trends can be done on a monthly basis to understand the progress of the broiler performance. We must invest the time in data, collecting, exploring, and finally using your data wisely to make it work for you. In addition, I have some suggestions to share. We should at least look at the data twice a year, build a trend over time, and identify the areas to improve and adjust your programs in time. Compare flocks from different complexes of farms. Share and learn from each other, rank flocks, and identify top and bottom for management differences. Remember what I said at the beginning, we must visualize the data to find trends, patterns, so that it shows its value.